Hi, guys, here. Welcome to another Minecraft Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to generate structures in your world. So, here's the structure that I'm going to be generating. Um, don't know why the FPS is just shockingly bad. Jeez. Um, so, inside, it's just got a chest, which I'm going to hopefully generate random items in. Crafting table, furnace, torch. I also got a door. And yeah, I'm going to show you how this works. So, what I've done is I've split this into its different layers. Now, obviously, that's half a door, and here's just a command to do that half of the door. And here's a command to do that half of the door. So, the reason why I've split it into layers is because we have to sort of say where each type of block is. So, um, yeah. So, this layer here is, we're going to set as layer 0, which is this layer right here. The bottom layer, not the bottom layer, layer 0. This is going to be layer minus 1, because we're going to want it to be on ground, so it's going to be the one underneath. And, yeah, so the way this works is coordinates. So we've got to write down the coordinates in this array, array, because a coordinate is an array. Because it's x, y, z, which is three numbers, which is an array. And we're going to have an array like a list of these smaller arrays so that's an array array so um, this is layer minus one so this block right here we start from the front left this block right here is going to be zero minus one zero and then it's going to increase so that's zero minus one one and so on and that's just for each block type, so we have to do that in an array array. I'll explain this later on. So, so in world gen, we want to add a new class, and I'm going to call it uh, room gen. And this has got implement implement i world generator there you go and that's going to make us want to add some methods so add an implemented method which is just this method here actually and the first one that we're going to have is this can replace one which just checks whether we can place it there so control shift o to import all of this net the minecraft material uh, net the minecraft block and basically just checks whether it's replaceable and then we're going to also want a can spawn here which checks whether we can spawn it and that, that's just fine it just generates um, that needs to be five sorry because as is five by five by five and yeah, so that, that just checks where we can spawn it. Just gonna have a place block helper method, just helps us place blocks. Um, control Shift O to import that. So we just place that, and then a build layer. This is actually what's gonna build all of our stuff. And um, up here on the top, are you gonna make those array arrays? So I. Right, Gonna just so the first one is gonna be the spruce planks position. Spruce planks chords. Now it's going to be equal to and I forgot to say it's a int array array or array array. Equal to a new int array array. And let's open it up. And just want to say where each one is so
Okay, so we've done the birch planks. So now we're going to be doing um, all the other coordinates for all the other stuff. So for all the other blocks that we don't have a lot of, it's just an in. So I say there's just one, so like this glass, it's just one int array, so private int array, and that's glass chords is equal to a new int array. Smart me decided to use the wrong thing, so you actually got to extend world generator, and then that should give us the correct method, so add an implemented method. Yeah? I just want to change this to corner. So then, uh, we're just going to leave that return false. So we want to check if can spawn here. World, and that's the corner. So if it can spawn here, and let's just change this to world. Just to make our life a bit easier. So if it can spawn, we're going to first return true, saying that it has spawned. State which block states that we're using. So for each of those blocks, so I block state, and this is going to be spruce planks. Spruce planks is equal to blocks dot planks dot, and then it's this dot get state from meta, and the meta is in fact going to be block planks dot enum type dot um spruce dot get metadata and we'll just copy and paste this and just change this to spruce logs and just change this to log then we'll do i block state uh door lower and that's equal to blocks dot and it's going to be called acacia door dot get default state dot with property block acacia or block door dot and it's going to be half and then the value is going to be block door dot enum door half dot lower and then we just want to do that for the other one except for it's going to be higher door higher and then just change this to higher or high upper whatever and now we need to build the layer so build layer the world front left corner is the corner the block positions so the first one that we're going to do is spruce planks so spruce planks and block two place is going to be spruce Thanks. Now I'm just gonna do the spruce logs exactly the same. I and then like you can change this by doing um, the other one. And then our chest is a bit different, so I just want to do place block. And um, it's just gonna be world corner chest cords chest. So that's just gonna place our chest. And now we actually have to do some cool math thingies. Uh, just to make sure we know where the tile entity, because we're going to be randomly generate stuff in here. So it is block pars, actual pars is equal to corner dot add, and then uh, that one, and then it's just going to be chest chords zero chest chords. One and chest cords two. And that's just going to add the appropriate amounts. Now I want to get the tile entity, so that's tile entity chest uh, chest te is equal to. We've got to cast this to a tile entity chest entity chest, and that's world dot get tile entity at the actual pause. So there you go, we've got the tile entity. We're gonna check if the tile entity does exist by doing if chest 
te not equal to nothing and then we'll do weighted random chess content dot generate chess contents random which is going to be world dot rand the list is lists dot new array list and then here we're just going to put chest contents the chest tile entity and the max is six now we don't actually have this we're going to make this in a sec and I forgot to say all of these need to actually be final sorry so just copy that make all of these final so that they can't be changed because we don't, we don't want these to be changed really and then um, I'm just going to do a private weighted random chest content array chest content and that's equal to new weighted chest random chest and we could do the item one so that's mod items dot copper apple that's the minimum chance it's just zero here the minimum chance is one maximum chance is four and the item weight is just like the chance so I'm gonna put it on five so you have a five percent chance of getting this and then a new weighted okay so I've actually created a new package called structures put this structure in here um, I've changed a couple of stuff where is it um, I've just got torch and that like work and I've just got this little debug thing so it fills the chat um, I've made it so that the furnace and chest face the right way just using this uh, I've actually created a different generator for it, which is this. At the moment, you get quite a few of these. I might, you can just turn down the chance of this because um, really might help because there is quite a lot. And just in the common proxy, I've just got it at ten like before. And yeah, and I'm gonna say quite a lot. There's quite a lot. Yeah, but. Everything works in these, so this is actually a freshly spawned world. So let's go in here. That seeds because it's destroyed them. Go in here. We've got a torch. Got glass. I haven't altered these. You can do that. I haven't. In here, we've just got bones. And yeah, this is all generated in our world, which is pretty pretty nice. So if I just go for a couple of these, we should eventually fight. Oh. Excuse me. Should eventually in one of these. Okay, we got a new one of these chests. We will find a copper apple. There we go, we have copper apples. There we go. And these are legit copper apples. If I go into survival. These do as they're supposed to. So yeah. Structure generation. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I am out. Don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial. So yeah, go check them out.